All right, so this uh, video we're going to look at uh, finding the work required to stretch a spring, and we'll use uh, Hooke's law. All right, so the problem says a force of 40 newtons is required to hold a spring that has been stretched from its natural length of 10 centimeters to a length of 15 centimeters. How much work is done in stretching the spring from 15 centimeters to 18 centimeters? All right, so first, let's just look. We've got Hooke's Law. And this is what it says. It says the force required to hold the spring stretched x meters beyond its natural length is f of x equals k times x. Alright, so that's that's Hooke's law. Alright, so so the spring the spring is stretched Okay, so how far is the spring stretched? Well, it tells us a force of 40 newtons is required to hold a spring that has been stretched from its natural length of 10 centimeters to a length of 15 centimeters. Okay, so basically we've got this spring here. Here's its natural length. Of 10 centimeters and what we're going to do is stretch it out here to 15 centimeters okay all right so how far have we stretched it well you know that would be 5 centimeters okay we've got the 15 centimeters minus 10 centimeters is equal to five centimeters and that's beyond its natural length. Okay. Now you notice they give us the, the force in newtons. So the the distance that it's been stretched, the five centimeters, that has to be converted to meters. So 5 centimeters that would give us 0 0.05 meters. All right. So so now we have we have x right here our 0 0.05. Okay? That's our 0 0.05 is x and the force is 40. So this 40 here that's our f of x. The 5 the, or the 5 centimeters or 0 0.05 meters, that's our x. So let's plug all this in to our function here. So I have f of 0 0.05 is equal to, so I'm going to put the 0 0.05 in here, so that's 0 0.05 times k, and that is equal to 40 newtons. So that tells us if we solve for k, we get k is equal to 40 over 0 0.05. See, that, that's, that, that's the point here. We need to figure out what k is. And this is the information they give us, the 40 newtons, and how far it's stretched beyond its natural length. Okay. See, the force required to hold the spring stretched x meters beyond its natural length. Here's your x meters. Okay. Or 0 0.05 meters. Okay. 
All right, so this tells us that K is equal to 800. All right, now what do we want to know? How much work is done in stretching the spring from 15 centimeters to 18 centimeters? All right, so to stretch from 15 centimeters to 18 centimeters. Okay, so we have 15 centimeters minus the 10 centimeters, that's from its natural length, the 10 centimeters, that's equal to 5 centimeters, which is 0 0.05 meters. And, it's, and we're stretching it to 18 centimeters. So 18 centimeters minus the 10 centimeters, which that's its natural length, is 8 centimeters, which is 0 0.08 meters. Okay. All right. So we have our we have our function. We know that f of x is equal to 800 times x. See, k is 800, and so I plug the k into there. So there's my function. f of x equals 800x. All right. So to find the work done, I'm going to have to integrate this thing. 800x dx from 0 0.05 to 0 0.08. Okay. And so when we integrate that, that's going to give us 400x squared from 0 0.05 to 0 0.08. And so that will give me 400 times 0 0.08 squared minus 0 0.05 squared. And then when we punch all that into our calculator, we get 1.56 joules. Okay, and that's my answer. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, share, and thanks for watching.